Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. And today it's on the amazing mini game Paintball. So this is a fantastic plugin with a ton of different features and game modes, such as capture the flag, rush the flag, destroy the core, team deathmatch, and free for all. So uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a capture the flag arena. So let's go ahead and get started over here in our lobby slash spectator area. So let's have a look at the commands to begin with. If you do four slash pb, that will show you a few commands. If we do pb admin, this will show us all the admin commands. And pb arena will show us all the arena creation commands. So here they are, there's quite a few of them. So um, let's go ahead and create our arena first by using this command, pb arena create yt, followed by the type of arena which is going to be capture the flag, ctf. There we go, it's been created. And it will show you what else you need to do to actually create the arena. So max, min, players, spectator area, and teams. So we are going to set the spectator area here, set spec for the arena YT. There we go, and it even crosses it off once you've done it, which is a really cool feature. Then we need to set the min and max players, so max for the arena YT is going to be four, and min for the arena YT is going to be two. So that's very easy to do. Once you've done that, we need to actually set the teams and the spawn points. So let's fly into our pretty big arena with quite a few colors. I don't know, I created this a while ago. Um, but as you can see up here somewhere, you can do it with chat colors instead of actually writing the word blue or orange or green or something. So if you do PB Arena set teams for the arena whitey, instead of doing green, comma blue, you would do, I say, and two, comma, something else. So let's do and a, comma, and one which as you can see is navy blue and lime. So that is pretty cool that you can do that. Um, and once you've done that, we need to set the spawns. So uh, let's go ahead and set the lobby spawn to begin with, which is up here. And let's do that now. So PB arena, set spawn, set uh, the arena YT, lobby and this is going to be for all teams. You could set a separate one for each team but I'm not going to. And if we fly down here we can set the blue spawn. So spawn for the blue team. Oh, navy blue. And the spawn for the green team as well which is called lime. There we go. So we need to set the navy blue flag and the lime flag as well. So let's go ahead and grab, say, an oak fence and this color as well. We're going to set it, I don't know, here. That's going to be one of them. And the other one's going to be set there. Ooh, set there. Just randomly. Um, <laughs> this probably wouldn't be the best map to do it in, really. So PB Arena. And we need to do the set flag. So PB Arena set flag for YT. And it's going to be Team Navy Blue. There we go. I should probably be standing on it. And we're going to fly over here. And set the flag for the Lime Team. There we go. So that is everything. We just need to do PB admin and then enable pv admin enable yt and there we go it has been enabled and we have created everything in the arena there are a few signs that we can do so let me grab a sign pop it on the wall and pb join and the arena is called yt there's also pb auto join which is a cool feature and there is also leaderboards which is pretty cool so if you do pb underscore, well, underneath, LB, and then something such as kills or wins, and then which ranks. So that will show you the number one kills. Uh, there is loads on the speaker page, so you can have a look and see which ones you want. So wins, top wins, you could do most flags captured. There is a long list of them. So I'm going to make it stop raining for a bit. And I think we should actually have a game of this, which is pretty cool. So if we right click, you will see a nice message pops up. We have a really awesome um, leaderboard on the right. We are in the Lime team. Now we are in the Navy Blue team. Um, and as you can see, we are waiting for one more player to join. So I'm going to grab my other account and we're going to have a little game of paintball.
So as you can see, we are in the game now, and I have a gun, which obviously shoots paintballs. We also have another item, which is the coin shop. And as you can see, there is a lot of different things in here. So um, we have the AK, the rocket launcher, double coins, spray and pray, paintball shower. So there's a lot of cool things in here that you can use when you get enough coins. So over here, we have our flag, which obviously we cannot pick up. That's his job. And we have the enemy flag over here. So once you've grabbed that, if you get back to your own base without being killed, uh, you score a point. So uh, on the right, we see that Lime have 46 and Navy Blue have 50. So it's obviously the first person to get to zero who will win. Now we have 45. And it also shows your health and what team you're on, which is really cool. Kills, kill street coins, KD, money, all of that good stuff. Um, now you can also set a hologram. I don't know if it will let me do it in here, but if you do PB admin, set holo, and you can choose a particular stat or do all of them. Um, yes, it does. So that is really cool, even though we set it in the middle of a game, but uh, it shows the most wins, accuracy, deaths, kills, all of that good stuff that you could put on a sign. But I think it's much nicer on here, and that is a really nice feature of the plugin. You can also delete it by doing set admin del hollow and a radius around you. So if you set maybe five accidentally around you, you can obviously delete all of them at once. And you can do PB leave to leave the game. And if you look on the sign, it says in progress, 80 seconds left, which is really cool. So um, that is the plugin. You can obviously get it from Spigot. It is a premium plugin, but it's definitely worth it. As it has so many cool features, up to 16 teams. Um, and all that good stuff. So we're gonna have a quick look in the config file um, Just to end the video on so here we are in the paintball folder and as you can see there are five different files So let's start at the top at the arenas file as you can see here This is the arena YT the one we played on it shows you the type whether it's enabled on or not um, And there is various different things in here um, That you can enable or disable or set to default so um all of this is the default, which you can edit in the config file. So you could change it per arena if you really wanted to, uh, which we're going to have a look at now. So config file, these are all the defaults. So we obviously have the currency. I wouldn't suggest putting the pound sign there because that usually glitches out in Minecraft. The max score, so obviously 50, that is way too much. I'd, I'd lower that to something like 10 or five or, or something a lot less. How many lives each player has. Um, the win on waiting, so 10 seconds and um, not sure where it is there it is so the countdown time is 60 seconds which is honestly far too long i'd set that to 20 seconds at max and um, you can also change whether it broadcasts the winner to use team chat arena chat uh, how many coins you get per kill you could set negative to death so minus one per death and two per kill something like that and whether people have wall helmets, which is a really cool feature, I like that, per team chat. And whether you, you are allowed to switch teams, which is a great feature. So most of this is fairly straightforward. Obviously, various commands are blocked. So you can do for slash time, for slash money, but you can't do for slash god or for slash enchant. <laughs> that would be quite overpowered. Then we have the prefix, the theme color, the secondary color, and whether it hooks into vault and the title API. So all of that is good stuff. You can obviously edit, edit it how you want. Database, you could set up a MySQL database or with Bungie. We then have all the items. There is quite a few in here. I wouldn't suggest messing with this unless um, you wanted to remove some, but uh, that's all fine. And finally the player data. So uh, you could edit your stats to make you look super good, like a thousand kills and zero deaths. But uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that either. So that is the plugin. It's great. As I said, it's premium on Spigot, so you can purchase it if you want. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.